Hey, welcome to M Puzzles and Builds. This is another haul video, as you'll probably have seen from the title. There are quite a few to show you, so I'm not going to stall, let's just get right into it. And here you go. This is my August 2024 puzzle haul. It is 21 jigsaws, which is up to this height on me. I'm only 5 foot 4 or 165 centimetres tall, so that kind of shows how high up this goes. We have, <clears throat> from the bottom, I Love Weddings, which is a uh, Gibson's. I Love Summer, also a Gibson's. Uh, Movie Land, which is a Falcon. Rural Retreat, a Ravensburger. A Farmer's Life, which is... FX Schmidt, it looks like. Perfect Day Out, which is the same company. Knit and Natter, which is by HOP, House of Puzzle. Noah's Ark, which is Puzzle World. York, the location, by Gibson's. Vintage Toy Shop, Corner Piece. I'm probably going to butcher this one, but Vlatva River in Prague, Puzzle World, Pets on Wash, Corner Piece, Homestead, Corner Piece, Little Ballet Dancers, Corner Piece, Bengal Tiger, this one is a BBC, Seaside Frolics, Gibsons, Newcastle, the location, Gibsons, I don't know if there's any other Newcastle. <laughs> I Love Summer, Gibson's, Crazy Cats and the Potting, Crazy Cats in the Potting Shed, Ravensburger, The Rainforest, Ravensburger, and Getting Away From It All, MGL. In total, this is 22 jigsaws, one of which this one, I'm not keen on, so I'm probably not going to do this one. I just think it's kind of weird. But, I do plan on doing every single one of the rest of them. And I think we're now going to cut to each one individually being looked at. So let's go! First of all, we have this Gang Away From It All jigsaw which looks to be like a holiday camping site with some water features. That looks like it'll be quite a fun one to do. It's a, f a 1000 piece in quite a small box actually, I thought it was a 500 piece. So I'm expecting the PCs to be very small for this. Looking forward to getting into that one. Next up we have this Rainforest Jigsaw. It's only a 500 piece. And it's a Ravensburger. It looks like quite an old one, and someone completed it in 2015. Yes, this was actually made in 1992, according to this. So, it does have a bit of age to it, but visually it looks really interesting. I like the art style of it. This third, this third one is the Crazy Cats in the Potting Shed, another 500 piece Ravensburger. That has a really interesting hand-drawn style to it. This one's a lot more recent than the previous one. On here it says it is 2009. So this one's much more up-to-date. Still, nowadays, that's relatively older considering. We're in 2024 now. Time has been flying. But yeah, look at the all the different cats. There's a pigeon there. 
And yeah, some interesting details in this. Let's go into the next one. Number four is the Isle of Summer Gibson's 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle. That is absolutely loaded with detail. It looks like the cover of a comic book. Bognor Regis. Oh, people that are from the UK and have been round about those places would know where that is. <laughs> I've never been myself, but I've heard of the place. I'm loving the contrast between the nice weather there and the stormy weather in the background. That's very typical of a British summer. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Jigsaw Puzzle 5 now, the 1000 piece Gibson's Newcastle Jigsaw. It looks like relatively modern when I'm looking at the price of the, the bacon roll and tea, but it's like it's a celebration of classic things with all the cars and this classic van. That looks really interesting. I quite look forward to seeing what this one's like when I'm working on it. I'm surprised with these thousand pieces ones coming in smaller boxes, but they're really quite thick this way, so that probably explains it. Number six is this 500 piece Seaside Frolics Gibson's puzzle. It's another Seaside one, this time it's actually in the US because it says welcome to Atlantic City. Oh yeah, two cents as well, kind of things that are giving it away. This one definitely looks like it's an older one. I wonder if there's a date on it. I had a quick look around the box and was unable to find a date, but it's definitely got a classic. Uh, it's definitely got a classic vibe to it. Looking forward to seeing how this one comes out. Number seven, the BBC Earth 500 piece Bengal Tiger puzzle. It is a. Jigsaw made from a photo of a Bengal tiger in the wild. It is going to be absolutely beautiful. Everything BBC Planet Earth style is always really nice. And I can't wait to see what this is going to look like actually as the individual pieces. I wonder if this came out alongside the Planet Earth series. Just going to quickly say about this one, the ballet dancer, one I'm not going to be doing, but it does look like it's quite a good one for anyone that would be wanting to do this kind of jigsaw. would happily pass this up to anyone that I know that would like it. <laughs> and now we come on to this 500 piece homestead corner piece jigsaw. A nice little farm out on a little river. Looks really peaceful and very rustic and scenic. That's my kind of vibe when it comes to these kind of nature jigsaws. Very chill, lots of detail. 500 piece means it shouldn't take a long time to do, which for a 500 piece is a lot more relaxing. And next up again, we have this Pets on Wash 500 piece corner piece jigsaw. It is quite a whimsical style of animals in washing. Quite self-explanatory, but uh, it looks really nice. I love all the different breeds of dogs and cats. And there's ducks and chickens here. Extra cute. This one looks like it'll be pretty nice. Not too bad for a 500 piece as well. And now we move on to the Vlatva River in Prague jigsaw puzzle. I've been here. Somewhere around this river I've stood. I went to a stag do in Prague a few years ago. Very beautiful city, so I'm looking forward to putting this together. Take me back. Now we're starting to get onto the bigger boxes. This one is the thousand piece vintage toy shop corner piece puzzles. That is a very classic looking visual. I'm loving the style with all the like the wind-up toys, the airfix model stuff. 
and other jigsaws. That's brilliant. G O Joe. That's not G.I. Joe. <laughs> I'm guessing that was a rights thing. But that looks amazing. I think this is going to be a brilliant one to put together. Sorry if that was barely in the frame there. I'm losing track of where the camera's actually looking. And now we have this thousand piece York Gibson's jigsaw. Celebrating 100 years. So this one came out in 2019. Which is actually more recent than I thought it was. The style of art in it makes me think it's older, but actually it's not that old. York, a place I've been to. Not so much in the city, but I've been near it quite a few times. It is near Flamingoland, which is a place I've been on holiday a lot of times. <laughs> Next up we've got this thousand piece puzzle world, Noah's Ark. A lot of that in this looks very similar to a 500 piece. I've loaned out my 500 piece one, but I'm going to show a picture of it alongside this to show how similar some of this is. I think some of the art is reused, or even this is maybe just expanded on that. I'm not entirely sure, but I've done the 500 piece version that looks quite similar to this, and kind of know what I'm getting into with this one. It's going to be a lot of fun. <clears throat> Now we're into the wider boxes, we've got this thousand piece knit and natter from House of Puzzles. This one's slightly different from the usual ones that I've seen. It's going to be interesting. There's a lot of very specific colouring going on in it. I think that's going to be really nice to do. And hopefully, because they're very specific colours, it should be relatively easy to pick them out and I hope they won't get too stuck on it. Look at these types of puzzle pieces that are going to be in it. That's going to be interesting. I've not seen those ones yet. Here is the 1000 piece Perfect Day Out FX Schmid Jigsaw. Another one, side of the water, in a classic looking countryside setting. I can't think of the word there. We've got animals, people, Vintage vehicles, an old style mansion, the works. That looks brilliant. That's going to be quite fun putting together as well. Now we're getting into the last five jigsaws here. We have this 1000 piece, a farmer's life jigsaw, another countryside one. <laughs> this time though, less focused on a relaxing time out in the country, more on the actual work that goes into the uh, country with rearing sheep. With a sheepdog in the background. I love collies. Border collies are one of my favourite animals of all time. And it's a very nice setting with a nice wee hill in the background. Bunny. Now Robin. Fourth last one is this 1000 piece Ravensburger Rural Retreat Jigsaw. This one's a little village somewhere. Very nice. It's got that kind of steep gradient to it, as if it's just alongside hills, which it is. And you've got some bees and all different nature stuff. Houses, people with gardening. A lot of detail that I'll see better when I'm actually working on the jigsaw. Now this one is completely different from all of the rest style wise I would say. This one's the movie land 1000 piece falcon. It's, you can barely see it behind that but that's what it says. There's it in more detail. And it's got all different sorts of cartoony movie characters like Chaplin -y style, Superman, I'm guessing that's meant to be like Harry Potter. Mary Poppins, yeah, all sorts. That's another one where, as I'm doing it, I'm going to notice more and more detail. See, 3 peel. Okay, let's stop going on about this one, because it might take a while going through each character. This might feel a bit like deja vu, but we have this 1000 piece I Love Summer Jigsaw. Hmm, I feel like I've seen this one before. It is a different shaped box, but I think it may actually be the same. Let's pull out the older one and see if it's the same. 
Okay, let's compare them. It is almost like this one is a washed out version of the same jigsaw. Looking at it. Same number of pieces. But this one otherwise looks like it's washed out in comparison. So maybe this will be one where I'll do one of them and I'll have a look at the other one to see if it's worth doing again. But likely if it's colour wise only different on the box then there's not going to be any worthwhile doing the same jigsaw twice. But we'll see. And here we have our very last Gibson's one, I Love Weddings. It's got that very classic British humour in it with Divorce lawyer right in the middle of the, the jigsaw. But look at all of this detail, there's so much going on in this. I'm quite looking forward to seeing what this one's like putting together. But yeah, this one is the last of all of the jigsaws in the hall. It's been a challenge carrying all of these through, setting them up for doing this video. But it's been well worth it and I can't wait to get stuck into some of them. What do you guys think? Are there any that you're particularly looking forward to? If enough of you harp on about it, I might do the one with the ballet dancer, but I really don't plan on doing it. We'll see. That's all, I want to thank you guys for everything, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.